it's time to move to match day match point number three now and we're getting the individual uh, contests for you it's always about individual contests we're going to start with sunil narayan as our first pick uh, not too many batsmen pick him we've picked him as match day match point number three and uh, he likes to play against the Kings 11. Dare I say, quite a few bowlers might have liked to play against the Kings 11 in past years. But this is a different looking side, a confident side under Glenn Maxwell. He, however, doesn't do very well against uh, Sunil Narayan. Uh, just 24 runs. Uh, go Narayan keeps him quiet at just about 5 and over against Maxwell and has dismissed him twice. Saha's not too bad. Manun Bora struggles. So the top order, and David Miller too, not uh, great numbers. Top order of... Uh, uh, Punjab doesn't necessarily do very well against Sunil Narayan. Brings me to Brad Hogg. The Narayan v Maxwell battle. Maxwell's a good player. Uh, I've seen him get troubled a little with spin often, but between the Narayan v Maxwell battle, what, battle, what are we looking forward to? Hoggy? Well, if you look at in the past, Narayan's been able to move the ball con uh, constructively both ways, and now that he's had a bit of a remedial process on his action, uh, and there's a new wicket out, Kyle Cutter, it's going to be interesting to see if Narayan gets the same assistance from the pitch. Now, if he doesn't get that assistance, just watch for Maxwell to start charging him and trying to hit, hit him straight. Maxwell's very good hitting straight, and he also will realise that Noreen likes to bowl on a nice tidy line and length. Uh, he doesn't really vary that length much. So watch Maxwell get on the back foot as well and try and cut him through the offside. Not so much pull him because Noreen can skid off the wicket a bit, but he's either going to get on that back foot, cut him, or try and take him down, straight down the ground to the side screen. Boom, and just like that, with that buzzer, yeah. let's hear Maxwell and Narayan go on that day. Uh, with those numbers though, uh, Gaurav, surprisingly, Ritiman Saha does well against Sunil Narayan. Many top Indian batsmen don't. Saha comes at the back of a confident test season. Uh, he's done extraordinary things, or great things in the IPL before. When you saw those numbers, were you, uh, were you surprised at how well he's done against... Uh, Narayan, 45 seconds for you? Well, not really because, I mean, traditionally Indian batsmen should be good at playing uh, uh, spin bowling. Also, Saha didn't get a bat in the last game when Kings Eleven played because uh, I think they had some of their uh, sort of strike weapons go up early. Akshar batted uh, up in the order as well. Obviously, the work on the action has meant that Narayan isn't quite the same force. That's uh, uh, apparent in the numbers. And I think uh, 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 Kings Eleven have the batting to take him down. They, I won't be too surprised if actually because of the quality of batting that they have in Amla and Maxwell and guys of this nature, they try and actually get more off Narayan than has traditionally been thought of in the past. He might actually be uh, a bowler that uh, Kings Eleven will look to target to get out. Because also remember, Eden Gunn is not a very big ground. So we'll see how Sunil Narayan goes. All eyes on him as this goes on. He's perfect, these two gentlemen, when it comes to time.